Hi guys, it's Carly, House Phone, um, and I'm here to teach you how to play a drinking song. Um, this is a super simple song, very beginner friendly, so if you've never picked up a guitar before in your life, um, you still might be able to play the song. So hopefully I'm going to break it down in a way that's super easy to understand and follow along with, um, and all of the reference material if you're a person that would just rather read the chords um, and the tabs for yourself. All of that material is going to be available for free on my Patreon, so you won't have to subscribe to access it. Um, but while you're there, if you want to check out my Patreon, um, I do tons of cool things there every single month, including um, I talk extensively about the video games that I'm producing, um, so if you're interested in what goes into developing an independent video game, um, I talk a lot about that there. I also um, talk a lot about my projects um, that I'm working on, including House Phone, and the garages. Um, new music that I released through those projects will be available for free um, as well as my entire back catalog so you can download those and have them forever for yourself. <laughs> Uh, in addition to that, I also have exclusive covers that I'm doing on Patreon, as well as just a lot of other cool content that I'd like to do similar to this right here. Um, so if you would like to see me do more of that, or would just like to support me putting more music and games out into the world, um, you can subscribe for as low as $1 a month and it goes a long way. Um, so yeah, let's jump into the video. Um, so the first thing is the picking pattern. So it's incredibly simple. You're only gonna concern yourself with three strings and that's um, this string right here, the second closest to you, A, um, and then G, the fourth, and B, the fifth. Um, and the picking pattern is A, G, A, B. And I tend to play it with these three fingers right here, my thumb for the A string, uh, my first finger for G, and my middle finger for B. And yeah, you just play it like this, A, G, A, B, A, G, A, B, A, G, A, B, A, G, A, B. And it just stays that through the entire song. It's incredibly simple. Um, I play the song with my capo on the third fret, but you can move this around uh, to wherever is most comfortable in your voice. The song itself only has three chords, and they're all open chords, so they're super simple to play. So for the verses, you're going to start on that G open chord, um, and then you're just going to play that same picking pattern, A, G, A, B. So I play that twice, and then I move to the C open chord. And I do that whole intro two times, so. So now we're into the verse. Um, so you just play that again. I might have grown to be a sailor on the seven seas and save the hero of the story from the belly of the beast. Now you're going to stay on C for this next part of the verse, but the night would get the, and then to G, credit. And then D, so this is now the introduction of our third and final chord. And then back to G. So all of that looks like C, G, D, G. So the knight would get the credit, and the damsel, and the gold. And then you're just going to play C, D, G to finish out. So we'll play the full verse through. I might have grown to be a sailor on the seven seas and save the hero of the story from the belly of the beast. But the night would get the credit and the damsel and the gold and all I get's the gift of growing old. Super simple. And you play that for every single verse in the song. There are no variations. Now, let's get into the chorus. Um, so for the chorus, you start out playing that same C, G, C, G, but it's gonna be flipped. So instead of G, C, G, C, it's C, G, C, G. It's because you, you ended the previous verse on a G. So now you're moving to C. You won't rewrite history to commemorate the likes of me and you would not believe me if I tried. And then you're gonna go back to C again. Now D, G. To tell you all the things I've seen and all the places that I've been, and then just that again. So pour the hall another cup of wine. So the timing on that C, D, G changes for the first time you play it and that second time you play it, but it's the same, same finger picking and the same chords that you're fretting. So let's play through the chords again, because that's, that's all there is to it. 
So you won't rewrite history to commemorate the likes of me And you would not believe me if I tried To tell you all the things I've seen And all the places that I've been So pour the hall another cup of wine And then in the final chorus, you're just gonna play those three chords again, the C, D, G, one more time. And you're gonna end with a button on this high E string. Um, so what that looks like is this. Uh, to tell you all the things I've seen in all the places that I've been, so pour the hall another cup of wine. So pour my friends another cup of wine. So you're playing it exactly the same, just one more round of that C, D, G, and end on that high E string. And that's it. All the verses are the same, all the choruses are the same, with the exception of the very last chorus. Um, and now you know how to play drinking song. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. If you'd like, again, to see more videos like this, please just let me know. Um, you can follow me across the internet and badger me everywhere for more videos, more tutorials, um, more access to chords and lyrics. I'd love to offer that for you. Um, so if you're interested in that, uh, also please just uh, consider subscribing to my Patreon because that really does help me um, move towards a place in my life where I can do music and games full time. That is the dream for me. <laughs> um, and so the more support that I have from people who are interested in my music, um, the more capable I am to spend more time on it. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.